everybody, welcome to the Kirsty Maker YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be doing, have a guess, what we're going to be doing. Uh, making jumpers. We're knitting. It's a knitting channel now. Whee! Well, we could do some knitting. We're going to do knitted ones in another video. <laughs> but today, we're going to do flames. Um, so is, that in, in, is that because of Bonfire Night? Because Bonfire Night, yeah. I going mean, to this is going to go out after, after Bonfire, Bonfire Night, Night, but you know. For those who don't know about Bonfire Night, just look up Guy Fawkes. Yeah, Guy Fawkes, that. Yeah. We could do with him again, really. We could do with him again, to be honest. Yeah, it's, but uh, be a little bit more successful. <laughs> yeah, <it's>, uh, <laughs> not get caught. Cool, he, he was a bit rubbish, wasn't yeah, he? Was bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guy oh, Fawkes up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Big guy. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're going to do flames. I'm going to be using the autumn collection um, from the Kirsty Mickey range to create them. So yeah, let's get flaming hot. So Andrea's got a full set on already. These are natural overlays and I still can't actually believe these are Andrea's beautiful natural nails. I mean, she's done so well. And it's like, so proud of you. I am very proud of myself. Good. So what you need to do first of all, so this is just for those people that want to do nail art on the top of, um, you could do it on your natural nail or you could do it on an acrylic nail or a natural overlay, any kind of extension. But you can also practice this on your practice tips and show your clients and they can be like, oh my God, I need that today on my nails. Okay, so you can do it on pretty much anything. When we are doing it on the top of an acrylic surface, I'm going to clean that first. It's, that is important. Now I've asked Andrea, wash your hair. Wash your hair? <laughs> <laughs> I've done my hair. Not I'm not yet, doing but... anything else. Sorry. Wash, your, wash your bum? No. <laughs> your feet? Your feet? Yeah. No, to wash your hands twice already because I was like, no, it's still dust on there. I need it cleaned again. <laughs> but we're going to use the clean up solution. So the clean up solution will dehydrate and also clean any bits of like, you know, when your client sits there and rests their nails on their face. Wow, this is going to clean all of that off. And that's what we want. Super nice and clean. I mean, Lou. Yeah, and I've literally, that's foundation, isn't it? Yeah. We were on about that yesterday, weren't yeah. we? Yeah. It gets everywhere. But clients do sit like that. Yeah. I sit like that. Yeah. And then they get, you know, just get um, makeup on, yeah. things like that. And it's, you know, you're not on your own. You're not being naughty. Not today, anyway. <laughs> do you need to keep the hands busy or nail them to the Yeah. Desk? Yeah, nail them to the yeah. desk, yeah. <laughs> So, base coat. Base coat is so important. Right. Now, don't get me wrong, we have a salon that tests all our products and she uses it without a base coat and she says it's absolutely fine. But she does go on quite a rough surface. I love using the base coat because I know it will ensure that this will not chip, it will not peel or anything. It's like the best double sided sticky tape you ever did use. It's amazing. Insert so, photo of Andrea's nine week. Yeah. Without a fill. It wasn't a single chip in it at not all. Not a single chip. Nothing. Lift, nothing lifting. And I wasn't being careful with them really. Oh no. I've been away. I've been swimming. I've been... Giving birth to puppies. Yeah. <laughs> not me. Well. It's yeah, that would be weird. Assist, you yeah. assisted midwife. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, I think it's important. And one other thing it does do and most people probably don't think about this, it will give you a beautiful surface to apply your gel polish. So it's going to give you a nice smooth surface already. Now what you need to remember when you're putting base coat on is to make sure you don't flood the cuticle. If you flood the cuticle with base coat, then you put your colour on because the gel has already gone into that cuticle Gel will go where gel has been and it will just start to seep into the cuticle. So don't shy away from the cuticle. Make sure you get nice and close like this. Drag back and as you drag back, it will pull the product down and make it nice and thin as well. Don't overload your brush. 
that's a really good tip as well. Some people think they need to put an abundance of base on because they're thinking, oh, it needs loads because more is more adhesion. It's not. It needs to be super thin and nice and smooth. So that smooth layer is going to help you get a nice smooth application with your colours. So I'm going to do that on all the nails and we will bang them in the lamp for 30 seconds. While they're in the lamp, I'm just going to show you a design that I did whilst I was in Dublin. I've been Dublin, do you know what? It was my first class overseas face to face and I absolutely loved it. I was so nervous, really was nervous because I was nervous about going through the airport, doing all the COVID passport things and all that. But now I've done it once, I would definitely do it again. It wasn't too difficult. It did just stress me out a little bit at first. So while I was in Dublin, I did this. And these flames are sort of inspired, inspired by hot rod flames. I just love hot rod flames. I love this, this. It's like they're very free, but they're all be quite exact as well. And I love that. They're just so beautiful. So we, we did it like this and the girls were like, that is so nice. Even though it's so simple with colours that are just, you know, a nude colour with black. But doing the other ones at the bottom just really did make it something else. But then we took it to the next level. So then we turned that pink and we edged in pink. And that really does look like a hot rod flame. So we're going to be doing this kind of design, but we're going to use the autumnal colours, which are quite flamey, which I really like. So yeah, there is one flame that I took a picture of that I wanted to do that is very hot rod. Oh, that's got like a Star Wars vibe yeah, to it. That's, that's so be, yeah. what I'll do is we'll do something on one of the nails that's inspired by that just to sort of change it up a little bit. Yeah. So our um, our beigey colour, nude colour from the autumn collection is beige days. We all love a bit of beige days. So that's going to be our background colour. So we're going to cover all of the nails. Maybe not two of them. Two of them will just do a flat colour. Yeah. The rest will be beige days. So, when you're applying, fan that brush. Don't overload the brush, yeah? Fan it or splay the brushes. When I went to Ireland, I said splay. They were like, what? I said splay. They were like, what's that mean? I was like, really? I was like, what? They look like the bristles sort of fan out. They were like, oh, fan the brush. I was like, yes, splay the brush. Mm -hmm. like, hello? So, yeah. Um, Lost in translation. It yeah. did. So then it was a thing, it was <laughs> splay. <laughs> splay the brush. Right, bring me that out. We're going to do second coat. So go directly over the top, again, splaying the brush. So we're going to use Void, which is our black, which I love and is a must for anybody. And then we're going to use Chezzy. Now it's Chezzy, Chezzy, that's how we say it. Now I know it's written like Chezzy, but it's actually pronounced Chezzy for Cheryl. And then we've got Sham which is for my best mate's mum. So we've got a vibrant coral. It's super vibrant. Absolutely gorgeous. They're vo both very vibrant. Then we've got an orange, but it's like an orangey coral, I would say. It looks more orange on the screen, I think. It looks tangerine. Tangerine on the screen. Like what's it? 
Yeah. What's yeah. it? <laughs> what's it? Yeah. yeah, you should have just called it what's it. Yeah. Oh, you know, what's it. Where's what's it? What's what? 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 We say what's it all it? the time anyway. You'd be like, <laughs> where's what's it? So what we'll do on these two nails, we're going to put sham on one and shezza on the other. So we're going to put shezza on this one. I mean, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And this is a colour that you will definitely use all year round. If you work in a salon, you will use this colour loads. A lot of customers love coral and this is a really vibrant coral. One coat of that and we'll do sham so you can see how vibrant they are. Pop with them in and then we'll do a second coat of that. Right, so we're going to get the void colour, pop it onto some backing paper from a sculpting form. You can use a palette. I'm going to use Lily Liner and also the Cassidy Detailer. So they're two different brushes that are two different lengths. So can you see one is longer and slightly thicker than the other. So anything long like when we do the that longer design i will definitely need that one mm -hmm. the shorter flames i can use the cassidy detailer right so i'm just going to show you on this here because people struggle with flames so i'm just going to mark this out for you here so you can start with your middle one if you want to one tail is going to come higher than the other and then you come round and loop again in this loop is then going to create the shape for your next flame and then you're going to do another little u shape and another little u shape here so if you think to yourself this is higher than these two can you see these two little u shapes here you've also got these here so you've got five in total if you, you can start, if you're thinking how low do I want to go and you prefer to start at your lowest point, you can start with these two here and build from that. Or if you prefer to start at your highest point, then you're going to start here. You'll, you'll figure that out as you do it. And drawing it on a piece of paper will definitely help as well. So you could always do that. I'm going to start at my highest point because that's just how I like to do it. And I'm just going to start like this. I literally do a little mark like that. And I know where I'm starting with. And then I'm going to come round and up. And that's going to be my highest, tallest flame. And this side will come a little bit shorter like that. Okay. So down, round, down round I'm just going to make that a tiny bit thicker because I'm also going to edge this aren't I so bear in mind you've got to have enough there to be able to edge it yep and then we've got these two round parts here these are your next little little u shapes and they kind of look like a teardrop round up
And once you've got that laid down, you can then make any of it thicker. You can slightly change the shape. Let's see if we can squeeze in a little one here. But two two aliens walk for a walk all the time. Yeah, I think they look like dancing men with no heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they do. Oh, God, yeah. Dancing men with no heads. They do. Now you will get to a point where you will be like, I am going to touch this and knock it and all that. So you'll get to a point where you'll need to cure. But you can see how black this is, it's so pigmented. Let's see if we can squeeze. Squeeze one on. So I'm going to cure that. Those dancing men holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Now this time, so we're kind of reversing what we've done. We painted the actual things, so now we're going to paint not the actual flame, we're going to paint it what's not the flame. So it's like the negative. So if this is going to be our highest one. So you do a teardrop and then we're going to fill this teardrop. So if you look at the top bit, we didn't do that, did we? No. We left that empty. What I mean, that's negative. So we're painting all that's not the flame. Yeah. So I was confused actually, I thought you were doing the, the Indian colours, not just the black, or are you doing that on the other You one? do that afterwards. Oh, oh. Shut up, Adam. Shut up. <laughs> We've got another little teardrop here. That looks like a really scary insect. I know, I was just thinking <laughs> that. Oh, oh, it does, doesn't it? On <laughs> there. Just cure that because I know I'm going to touch it. So 
You see we've got another teardrop here and then we're going to pull that round creating another plane and then once you've done that side I would definitely fill this in and then cure it. Now you need the tiniest amount of product you can see I am not applying loads of product. You can see, you see it taking shape. So cure me that we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So we've got Sham and Shezza and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Sham to go in here. It's like painting by numbers now. You've got it all like, you know them colouring books? We're colouring in. This isn't how I thought you were going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't. This isn't how I thought it was going to be. It's easier to do it this way, to be honest, uh, than just going over the top with... Because imagine trying going over the top of black with colour. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh, is she going to go over like a white bit, like a white bit, and then go over in the colour? But, yeah. No. The beige day colour in the background leaves a lovely colour to work mm. on. And obviously then you fill it in the gap. Yeah. Which levels it up to the same level as the black. Yes. Mm. We will have a little bit of thickness. Not too much, but we will. I'll show you how we can address that. That's why you need to go thin with your product. Don't overload with too much. Because gel polish will bulk up as you do it too thick. And this is where you need to use gel polish that is super pigmented. See, I'm not adding any more colour to my brush. I'm actually using the gel that's already on there and stretching that out. I just want to pull this down with my brush, super thin, because we're going to get a little chassis. Put that on the end. So now what we're going to do is tap with the Cassidy brush into Sham, which is the orange, and it will give you a bit of a blend. I'm going to clean this brush off just by wiping it on me back in paper, and then do this until I've got a nice seamless blend. I'm going to work from there, now I'm going to go all the way down, side to side, moving down as I go. So we have a blend, look at that. Got that in the lab, that looks the nuts. Sorry, put him. <laughs> I love how it's like ombre yes. and oh, it's so nice. So now we're going to get some of Shazzy and going to go around these little loops. So just in the loops, these little curved sections. Cure them because I know I'm going to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> and smudge them everywhere. It's got a feeling. Yeah. Then we're going to use Sham. I call Sham Shambo. 
Yeah. Like Rambo. Shambo. <laughs> oh, she's a tough cookie. She is a tough cookie, isn't she? She is. And then, with this colour, we're going to slightly overlap. And because it's so thin, the product's so thin and very little, it will, when you overlap like that, it'll just ombre it. Because it's so thin. So all the tips of the flames will be done in the orange. Oh, I love it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to top coat it with the glossy top coat because that's going to help smooth the surface. So we've got a full ombre. Pop it in the lamp. Oh, I just love it. It looks so cool. Right, we're going to do the, the long one now. Now, I've got to obviously adapt this to fit on this nail. So what I want to do now is do this in colour and edge in black. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't you? Maybe give a little bit of room. Quiet, I'm quiet when I'm concentrating. Don't be so quiet all the time. Right, so I'm starting here. I'm going to go like that. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, like that. Good. What I've done here is I've done some little dots to guide me. So I can try and get it as symmetrical as possible. Not gonna lie, this is not the easiest nail I've ever done. Just cure me then because we know there might be an issue. So now I'm using Chesa and we need some product here. Here, we're going to come up here and down here. And then what it does, this flame sort of passes under this one and comes out the top. So there and there. Like devil's horns. Mm, perfect for you. Yeah. I absolutely love that. We just cure it before I f it up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to do like something coming down the middle rather than rather than this, these two here. I'll put, I want to do like one that comes down and goes up and out. You know what I mean? I feel like it, that it should be like that. So I feel like it should sneak down here and be round here. Yeah, yes, put it in. You know what it is? This is like the pinstripe version of um, Hot Rod Flame. So they do pinstripe art and it's very much like this. Okay. So when you think of pinstripe, people think of pinstripe suits. Yeah. They're yeah. just lines, but there's like an art technique, which is pinstripe and people actually hand paint these kind of designs onto cars. Really? And honest mm -hmm. to God, phenomenal. 
absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Now, I've really challenged myself here, haven't I? Because I, I want to outline this in black on this tiny little nail. Let's see how I get along. So I'm going to start here. I just think that the black, maybe we don't outline all of it. We just sort of do some sections that just, you know, that I'm just make it pop a bit. I'll make, it, I'll make it the black or make it pop. I can't speak. I can't <laughs> speak at the same time. I'll make it pop and it'll make it flow. So it'll make it flow from nail to nail. Yeah, see now it's popping. Look at that, it's popping now. It's popping. It's like popcorn. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to outline them two middle flamey things. I'm going to do the orange. And you need the tiniest amount of product on your brush. That's why I'm conscious of how much product I have. Oh, Andrea is doing an amazing job of staying still for me. She says, because all of a sudden I'll get a demented twitch. Yeah. I'll be like, what are you doing? Yeah. Just cure that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so I'm going to top coat this bad boy now because I don't want no dust going anywhere on that sticky leaf. I love that. Right, let's top coat these as well. And then I'm going to move on to the thumb. And I've done it in this way because the positioning of the hand stays the same. So I know that nothing's going to get knocked. No dust is going to go on anything. And then I'm going to come and do the thumb. But that, because the thumb, the hand will then move from sort of this position from this to this and it'll just always be like that now. So I don't have to worry about them being knocked no. because they've all been top coated. Because we know the fluff, the fluff loves to join us, doesn't it? The fluff does the little bits of, yes, the black fluff. Yeah, so them, it doesn't matter if I knock them or anything because we are going to put some mass on them because do you think they look a bit smart when they bad? Right, so this one, we are going to repeat what we've done here on this thumb. So let's get cracking. I'm going to switch to my Alicia, not Alicia. Oh, I'm going to switch to my Cassidy brush. So we're going to top coat, and I'm using the glossy top coat because it will help even out those layers of top coat. So now, to be fair, that one's pretty damn smooth, but we want to mat them. So can you see how you have a little bit of unevenness as you see the flow of the light? So we're going to get rid of that by buffing. This is a 120 grit buffer, so it's not um going to eat away at the colour. It's just gonna smooth. Same with the thumb. Just 
So let's wipe over it with the cleanup solution. Now we've buffed. Get rid of all the dust. And we're going to put some stones onto these nails. Because that these nails have got way too much attention already. Oh, what crystals shall we use? So I'm going to use the Nail Kami Crystal Totalis. I'm just going to pop a little bit of it on the back of my glove. Or you could use a palette. You don't have to use your glove. Do not use your hand. And I'm going to put a little bit of it at the back. I've got um, caviar beads from Nail Kami. And I've also got, now these look like the pink, they're not. It's the backing of them that's pink. I'm not sure why, but these are from Nail by Lucy. So let's get some of these out. So if you look at them, they're actually just crystal. It's the back that's pink. And it hasn't doesn't affect the colour of the stone or anything like that. And I want these teeny weeny weeny ones. Maybe them as well. Right, just open those. So I'm using my Pammy Picker Upper to pick up the stones. And I can turn that round and use the design needle at the other end to move around my stones. So I've rolled these beads in the gel so I can easily pick them up and they already have gel on them as well which sort of helps them to stick. Got me that in. So the ones with bling we're going to take the glossy top coat and just put that straight up to the stones and the caviar beads and this will help everything stay on it's going to sort of reduce any areas that might catch on clothing or hair put that in the lamp. and then on the design nails we are going to put the matte top coat on the matte top coat is super light sensitive Oh yes, I like a mat. Mm. Let's put a bit of oil on though now. Not too much on the mat one. I don't want to ruin the matness. I don't want to ruin that matte effect. I'm just going to guide that round. Like so. Oh yes. Star Wars vibes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you even like Star Wars. No. I, I am getting hot rod vibes. Yeah. How cool. Love them. Absolutely love them. There you are, guys. Have a go yourself. Don't forget to tag us on Instagram, Facebook, and all that. And also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Everything that I've used today will be listed in the description box below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later. Toronto!
Oh yeah. Because <laughs> like, I've seen the jumper on. Well, I got uh, really so black. It's the same jumper. It's like two, two.